Dr. Ravi Malik, then on the other hand, then there are other big states like Maharashtra and the national capital uh, where schools are not being uh, reopened because of the fear of this new variant. In Delhi, of course, it's pollution that is not allowing the government to reopen schools. In Mumbai specifically, the school reopening had to be postponed because of the new variant. Uh, you are absolutely right and I agree with all the panelists that it is high time the vaccination for children should start, at least for the children those who are having highest diseases, maybe those who are having suffering from kidney diseases or liver diseases or those who have malignancies or immunocompromised due to any reason. So it is high time that we should start rolling up the vaccines. One thing is the safety of the vaccines, which has been proved in case of uh, Zydel COVID-D. Uh, it has been proved that it is safe. So I think the roll-on can start now and we can start vaccinating the children between 12 to 18 years of age, especially those who are immunocompromised or who are in the high risk situations. Secondly, we have to see, we should insulate this issue uh, to the other issue of losing the opportunity cost because this is the only prized precious preventive tool available in our hand. So we should use it for the kids also. Otherwise also we need a herd immunity of 70% at least uh, till the time we say that we are safe from the COVID. 60% are adults and 40% are children. Not even a single child has been vaccinated. How we will achieve this uh, herd immunity of 70%. So we need to take into account so many things. And as far as the school opening is concerned, of course, where the epidemiology is not much, where the COVID is not uh, uh, right now troubling, their schools can be opened in a guarded way. But the basic issue is that the attendance in those schools is also, as a pediatrician, I can tell you, the attendance is also not adequate because the parents are scared to send the children to school. So I think it is a wonderful move that um, uh, Serum Institute, after six months, will be rolling out uh, the vaccines for COVAX. It is a very good uh, news. And But I think that whatever vaccines are there for the children, we should start vaccinating them. It is very important. We should increase the herd immunity. Not that Omicron is in the... Um, uh, is in the going, but otherwise also we should start vaccinating them. Let us talk of the uh, international, uh, what is happening internationally. Globally, if you talk of Spain, UK, Italy, everywhere they have given almost 40% of these students, the children which are between 12 to 18 years of age, they have been vaccinated. At least they have got single dose of those vaccines, at least uh, this thing. So 40% of them. So globally, it is well recognized fact that children need to be protected and we should protect them. This is very important for us to understand. Second protection for children, also I would like to say okay. that we should increase the industrial scale vaccination of our adult population also. If the adults are protected well, our children will also be protected well because ultimately children are going to get infection from their parents or their relatives, those who are coming home. So right now, only 55% of our eligible population have received second dose and almost 86 percent have received first dose where are the other people they should now come forward and, right. and i appreciate yeah okay approved but not available dr ravi malik that's the reason probably we need to prepare we need to have a plan in place a strategy in place so that the moment we have the vaccines with us the rollout begins don't you think uh, definitely it is high time we should now roll out the vaccines and start giving to the children especially to even I tell you, even the immunocompromised and the children who are more vulnerable, even their number is in crores. So it is very important for us to understand that it is high time. The vaccine rollout should come. And I think within a week or 10 days time, the vaccine rollout should start because it has been approved long time back and it will come. Before rolling out, government has to see a lot of things because once you give the first dose, then within 28 days, you have to give the second dose also. You should also be prepared with so much of supply of vaccine that the second dose is also available with us. So a lot of logistics have to be worked out. But one thing is very clear. Once the vaccine is rolled out, our distribution system is very strong. As you have rightly pointed out, we have eradicated polio only because of the strong distribution system. We can distribute the vaccine up to the last man standing in the queue. We can go to the last mile of India for that matter. And we have been given giving universal immunization program, which is one of the most successful programs for children. So we have distribution system in place. The vaccine has been approved. And the only thing what we need is to roll over of the vaccine so that we start vaccinating 12 to 18 years. Now, this COVAX, once it is available after six months, it will be available for more than three years of uh, children. So that is also a good point 
but i think uh, all of our panelists they agree that we should start vaccinating uh, children and at the same time we should do a massive industrial level campaign for giving the vaccinations on one side adhar puna wala is saying that probably we will cut down the uh, manufacturing of uh, covid shield and on the other side look the situation is that um, booster dose has not been given to so many people so we need to work out the logistics and we need to see the numbers and we need to advise people and we should also address to the issue of is there is any kind of vaccine hesitancy complacency or any kind of fear of vaccination that is also very important we need to address this uh, issue also in pondicherry uh, we really welcome in pondicherry they have made it mandatory for everybody to get the vaccination done so i think it should be mandatory so anybody who is moving out of the house once you are going to the other city once you are going in the flight you need rt pcr and vaccination Uh, doses you need to show then why not if you are moving out of your home you you are uh, uh, getting exposed to so many people so why not we uh, lay down the strict guidelines and explain the people who are fearful and complacent we can tell them that we have rolled about more than 135 crores of vaccines in last uh, um, uh, so many months so it is safe it is absolutely safe there should not be any hesitancy and there should not be anybody left who is uh, not given the vaccine so i think uh, we need to work on this preventive article on the other side one small thing also i will like to say we have discussed about the preventive article but on the same side we should be well prepared last time also we have faltered in forecasting covid during second wave so this time also we should be absolutely well prepared on the curative side also we should have proper uh, beds available oxygen should be available and of course the inventory we should check and recheck in case the covid haunts us in future we should be well prepared